Hello guys, welcome to my channel Recollection with you Mr. Tim again. And you know I couldn't uh, make videos for a long time and that's why I've decided to make a video about grammar. Uh, there was a reason for this, I mean for not making a video about uh, my daily life or about some kind of things. Because of some uh, uh, technical problems I couldn't make videos. Okay, today, guys, I just wanted to uh, mention about present continuous. And I think uh, it would be great, it would be cool for you. Uh, you can just repeat with me present continuous. Okay, uh, as you know, present continuous consists of three general rules. Every time, every day, we use this in our native language. And uh, just uh, we have to know about this anyway. For example, first of them... We use present continuous when we talk about some situation which is happening around, uh, which happen at the time of speaking. For example, uh, right now I'm talking to you, and uh, right now you are uh, like uh, watching my video. Maybe you know, uh, it's happening right now at the moment, and maybe you are doing homework now, right now at the moment of speaking, and so on. Okay. The second one is we use present continuous when we talk about some circumstances which is happening around time of speaking. For example, we can say just two friends just met each other and they are just talking and uh, drinking coffee with each other. And you can say, uh, for example, one of them asked it, what are you doing these days, for example, and he uh, he answered, oh, okay, uh, uh, I'm I'm reading a book about romantic stories, maybe, and it's not happening right now. He's just drinking a coffee, and uh, he's not re reading a book right now. But uh, his action, I mean, is going on, and uh, he he has not finished it yet in uh, reading a book. That's why you can use this. And you can say just uh, I'm building a house, and you can you know that you can you cannot build a house in a day, and it's happening, and step by step you are like a building your house. The third one is changing situations. It's not really uh, hard to uh, understand. You can, for example, I can say I can give you example like. The number of students uh, who want want to enter to university are increasing. It's happening uh, right now, for example, currently uh, in our country, for example, Uzbekistan, because a lot of people want to enter to university. And also you can say the prices of the production are increasing more and more. Uh, and these kind of things, you know. And at the end, I just wanted to say that... Uh, there are some kind, some uh, keywords of present continuous. For example, this day, at the moment, now, and uh, this month, this year, maybe. It's like a signal words. You can use this when you are talking about uh, some conti present continuous. You know. And now uh, I just wanted to uh, just uh, talk in Uzbek, explain in Uzbek because. Uh, maybe the, there are some people who are uh, who have started just started to learning English. I mean, and maybe they don't know about uh, present continuous, and that's why I decided to talk in two languages, uh, in Uzbek and in English. Okay, now I have to explain this in Uzbek. Okay. Salam, salam. Hoşgeldiler benim kanalım ya. Bugün mesleği present continuous hakkında az yine üçüncü bir robot muhtemel. Hazır gibi İngilizce'de otken. I told Candy, present continuous, was basically Ugrid Gambusik, Hosur Gidaomi Zamonde, Tarjimaklade, Hosur English and the end of Boschagel Lachin, was basically the Shunturb Shakalana. Present continuous, Ustokhoida, Iborat, Prince, present continuous to bus, 
Kaçan işlet alalımız? Birinci vaziyet, misal üçün hazır ki vaziyet aynı payda, yani nütuk payda da işlet yedikken şu işlet alalımız. Yani hazır, ben gəpir yapman, yapman koşumcası, o doşa present continuous'u bildirildi. Yani present continuous'u ING deyken koşumca var, o şey koşumca yaptı deyken mananı beradi. Yani sizi hareket edin, hazır nüt devamı da böyle yaptı. Yok ki, ben ders kılı hep ben de siz, hazır siz ders kılı etken böyle. Hazır aynı şüphe etken böyle etken böyle. Birinci koydası. İkinci koydası, ikinci koydası da ıı, sal ciddi uzgarış var. Yani bu, siz ıı, present continuous'u kaçan işletiniz ki, misal için siz bir orta adam bilen, ıı, kuçu da kuruşu bazı, orta kız bilen ve suhbatlaşı yapsız. Bu siz nasıl uğraşın mümkün? Ne makale yapsın şükürlerden? Ne bilen ben sendisi? Siz ayı siz mümkün mü? Misal için yukarı yapın, yukarı kitap oku yapın de işiniz mümkün. O işe payda siz gəbləşib durgan payda izde siz onu bilen gəbləşib durup siz yukarı geniz yok. Ya ki kitap oku geniz yok. Lekin siz ayı tolas ki, ben kitap oku yapın. Yani siz kitap hal okup tüketkeniz yok. Sizi hareketiniz devam ediyor. Şimdi siz present continuous işlete olasınız. Üçüncü kaydası, uzgarış hadiseleri. Uzgarış yapıyorken hadiseleri. Misal için siz ayet olasınız ki, misal hazır atmosferimiz borgen sarı zaharlan yaptı. Yani yaptı, zaten iyanci işletiladı. Telgi iyanci kusuz present continuous buluradı. O şanı işletsiz buluradı. Misal üçün yana, misal kubçilik studentlar hazır borgen sarı şu Uzbekistan'da şu okuşka, kirişka hareket kılışı yaptı. Yani yaptı bette yam. Şuna kadar atrofumuzda böyle etken uzgarışlardı. Uzgarışlar ki işler olarak. Ve şimdi koydaları bor ki, yana bitti koydalardan bittası. Present continuous'da şuna kadar signal sözleri var. Misal üçün, and these days or, or right now hot. Hazır, now, hazır, misal için. Ki yani şu yıl, şu ay, de siz misal İngilizce'de şunu koyup işlet alırsınız. Yani bu signal sözler, siz misal için bir kılpayt, e, kanaka, misal için bu kanaka zamanlığını bilenmek oluyorsunuzdur. Hüttü o şu sözlerle kalıp, sekin o şeyini anıqlayıp alırsınız mümkün. Şunun için hem yaratılgen deyiş adı kubçilik, e, kubu şahili adamla ait adı ki, o şey signal sözler, o şey, Zamanlarda angle varmış çünkü, lakin hem bu vaziyette hem siz onu angle varlamıyorsunuz. Derken vaziyetler bolat ki siz o şey signal sözlerde başka başka zamanlarda hem işlet kendine, kollan kendine, bırakı üç üç vakit kendine o şeyin için. Lakin kopunca şu sözler şey, bizim kantinüste kopunca işletilerde. Okay guys, thank you for watching. It was really great because uh, I tried to explain in two languages. It was really tough. Because you know, uh, uh, I can uh, explain this in English, but it was really hard explain in Uzbek because you know uh, I don't know. I mean, I just read about this tense in English. That's why uh, it was a little bit. Um, how can I say a little bit um, easy explain to you in English, but in Uzbek it was tough, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm really happy that you are watching this video right now. You are watching. Yes. E-I-N-G, you know. <laughs> okay. See you guys.